I decided to replace the optical drive in my 17-inch uh, MacBook Pro early 2008 with a um, 1TB hard drive. I had the hard drive already, so I just got a serial ATA to parallel ATA drive, drive bay caddy. Uh, it's just an adapter. I bought it on eBay for about 10 bucks. And it's quite easy to replace, comes with all the screws you need. So first of all I need to open up the laptop. No need to replace to um, uh, remove the, the memory, can stay in place. I will speed this up a little bit. It's important to know that uh, these pre unibody laptops, uh, MacBook Pros, um, they use the serial ATA connection for the main hard drive, but they have a parallel connection for the optical drive so you need uh, you need to be careful when you buy the uh, caddy the adapter you need to get a um, serial ATA to a parallel ATA drive Just be careful when you open up the uh, top part, you need to remove the connection for the keyboard. The optical drive has only three screws. Gently lift up the connection. Just be careful not to break it. Just disconnect the adapter.
you'll need to remove the three little brackets attached to the optical drive and uh, um, put, them, put them back on the new uh, adapter, new caddy. In my case, I couldn't use the original screws, I had to use the um, screws that came with the, with the caddy. The optical drive in a 17-inch MacBook Pro is uh, a 12 uh, millimeters thick, and um, the caddy I got is only nine millimeters thick. But that's okay; it won't affect the performance. my one terabyte 2.5 inch uh, hard drive is also a nine nine millimeter stick so we will fit just fine and connect back the adapter to the new caddy Put the screws back and you're almost done. I've previously replaced the original hard drive with an uh, SSD so now I have a 256 SSD and an extra 1 terabyte uh, mechanical drive SSD makes this uh, old laptop quite fast. I 
I had installed um, six gigabytes of RAM. That's the maximum this uh, model can take. All the screws back in and the battery. Now it's time for boot tests. Not bad for a nine years old laptop. There you go. Two hard drives. Six gigs of RAM. And thanks for watching.